When it comes to gaming, there's always a large mix of all types of people that compete at the pro level. But how often do you see one that is only 12? FaZe High Sky is not only insanely talented at Fortnite and a well-known content creator, but he's also one of the youngest. Well, here you go. Okay. Oh god. Go back to the loot. Go back to the loot. <laughs> that was not calculated at all. Think about this. Have you ever seen someone at the age of 12 that is as good as he is? When it comes to game mechanics, it can be said that he's one of the best for his age. There's almost no one else that can play as fast and as accurate as he can at his age. But High Sky isn't just known for his building and aim. He's also very talented at trick shotting and just being an all-around solid player. There's a reason he was recruited to FaZe and has amassed hundreds of thousands of fans and followers. His age is merely a number compared to his incredible talent and overall well-roundedness. Would you guys agree with us when we say that he's one of the best? So what makes him different than all the other Fortnite pros? My name is Dan, and in this analysis, we're going to be looking at some clips and gameplay from FaZe High Sky, showing you guys exactly why he's one of the top players in the world. In this gameplay you're about to witness, High Sky is taking on some top-tier players in Duo Arena. We're going to be breaking down all the plays and tricks that most don't realize at first glance. We've analyzed his gameplay and juiced every tiny detail out to not only show you why High Sky is so talented, but to also teach you everything you need to know to use his tricks for yourself. Want to qualify for the next World Cup? Head over to ProGuys.com and check out InstaPro. Train with the most skilled coaches in the game and stay ahead of the competition. We see High Sky ramping up to an opponent using the ramp floor wall building tactic. Once they meet, High Sky realizes that his opponent has taken control of the ramp and the floor. At this point, most players would try to do a side jump and regain high ground, but High Sky does something very interesting here. He predicts that his opponent is going to go for an edit play and is ready for it. Standing where he got capped off, he waits for his opponent to edit the floor. This sets High Sky up for an opportunity to get some easy shots off and deal loads of damage if he's accurate. Now, as soon as the opponent edits it, High Sky immediately goes for a shot and lands it, while also replacing the floor and ramp with a floor and pyramid of his own. Since the opponent edited the ramp and floor in a way where they disconnected from the ramps, they end up crumbling and disappearing. High Sky instantly notices this and plans accordingly by not only getting a shot off, but also taking control of the pieces that are between him and his opponent. Now, High Sky goes for an edit play through his floor and cone in hopes of finishing off his opponent, who's already weakened by his previous shot. The opponent placed a wall in between them. High Sky once again waits for an edit. This time, the opponent has adapted and does not attempt that again. High Sky's next move is to track the opponent, hunting him down, especially since he's already weak. The way he does this is by keeping a close eye on the opponent while also maintaining his high ground. Closing the distance is what he's actively trying to do here. Now that he has finally come face to face with his opponent, High Sky is going to W key him by spamming his combat AR and running toward him. This closes off the distance and forces the opponent to fight. Now, once again, we see that High Sky isn't going for the wall, he's simply waiting for an edit play to take advantage of. The opponent falls for this again, and he opens up, only to be shot in the head for massive damage by High Sky. Once he gets the knock, he knows that his opponent has a teammate. Thanks to the communication from High Sky's duo, he knows exactly where he is. At this point, High Sky is trying to close off the distance between the other member of the duo without getting shot down. He does this by using floors and pyramids, which make it much harder to shoot down. What he does next is very flashy, yet pretty effective. He runs towards the opponent while jumping towards him. However, keep in mind the opponent is way below him, and High Sky could die to fall damage from what he's doing. But High Sky has a plan. He uses the flint knock to shoot himself back up, avoiding fall damage, and aligning himself at the same level as the opponent. He has, once again, closed off the distance in between them, bringing them face to face. Now, unfortunately, High Sky misses a crucial shot. This missed shot causes him to go down to his opponent, who did not. This shows how important it is for you to hit your shots when you're in a fight against a skilled player. Although High Sky pulled off a super intelligent push, it did not end in his favor due to simply missing a shotgun shot. Luckily, however, his teammate was there to save the day and finish the opponent while he was focused on finishing. That's another thing you guys can pick up from this unfortunate scenario. Never focus on thirsting if there's opponents that are targeting you up close. So his teammate got his reboot card and got the reboot, and High Sky just got a reminder that he needs to hit those shots. A lot of times, when pro players make mistakes, they instantly realize them and capitalize on it to make sure they don't make it again. You're going to see a good example of this in the rest of his gameplay. High Sky is now back up and running with his teammate. We can see him already pushing up to people and playing aggressively. One really cool aspect about High Sky's gameplay is how much he utilizes snipers. Although the hunting rifle is taken out, High Sky almost always has a sniper in one of his slots even to this day. This is a very unique aspect of his gameplay that stands out a lot from the rest. We see here that as soon as High Sky takes a shot at enemies, they instantly start to rush him. 
Now he and his teammate have to fight off both enemies with a very low amount of health. High Sky instantly builds platforms and bridges around the tower that they're standing on. This is to create a barrier between him and the opponents to make it harder to get shot at. Most of the time, players wouldn't do something like this, but due to their low health, this strategy is by far one of the best things they could have done. We can see so far that High Sky's made a nice change in his playstyle. In the beginning, he was being super aggressive and giving up high ground for flashy plays and risky W keys, but what do you realize about how he's playing now? If you pay close attention, you'll see that his mindset has changed from aggressive to more strategic and slowed down. High Sky sees opponents building up towards him using the double ramp method. Instead of jumping up their ramp or attempting to get risky angles, High Sky bridges over and maintains high ground. He does this while trying to create safer angles that keep him more protected. The opponents are now starting to gain some ground, so High Sky instantly starts to 90 up to maintain a good amount of ground over his opponent. Thing is, this is, once again, in order to keep himself safe from taking shots. As this action-packed fight goes on, we hear High Sky say, Break me down, break me down. Break me down, break me down, just do it. This isn't something you'd hear most pros say. However, High Sky loves utilizing the knockback pistol. You can see that he keeps one in his back pocket at all times. It's quite similar to his love for the sniper. His plan is for his teammate to shoot down the build fight and for High Sky to use his knockback pistol to avoid fall damage. Now, although he never gets to execute his plan, he does hit a sweet shot in his opponent, which ended that fight very quickly without much risk for him. After taking down the last squad, High Sky and his opponent are fast to push another team as they glide on towards a new duo. As soon as High Sky lands, he starts to crank 90s to get high ground over the opponent. Notice how he capitalized on high ground so much. Like most pros, High Sky is also a player who likes to hold high ground over his enemies. Now that he has high ground, we see him taking some nice and easy shots at an unsuspecting opponent under him. The best part about having high ground while playing duos is that you can a lot of times get your opponents to lose track of you while they're focusing on your teammate. And this is what High Sky and his duo are doing right now. This guarantees him an easy kill on the opponents below him. And once again, we see the effectiveness of high ground come into play as he easily takes down another opponent. Now that High Sky is at full health, we see him becoming aggressive once again. He's returning to his normal play style of fast-paced W keys, and we see him do this as he pushes up to an enemy, running right into him while placing a trap. He takes a few shots and then strafes to avoid incoming fire until the trap finishes the opponent off. Strafing is a great way to get trap kills and just to avoid shots in normal fights. It's the skill of evading shots by utilizing your movement. Haven't you ever tried peak shotting or moving around to avoid shots? Well, then you should have a good idea of how to strafe. Just remember to strafe in up-close fights where it really matters, just like High Sky. Come on, crap! This guy's 2 HP, 2 HP! At this point, High Sky decides to help his teammate take down the last guy in the duo. By pushing from below him, he's applying pressure from the opposite side of his teammate, making it almost impossible for the opponent to survive. With a quick shot from his heavy sniper, High Sky takes out the pyramid of his opponent and finishes him off with a quick combat shotgun shot. Now that we're in the end game, we can see High Sky's duo has been eliminated and it's just him versus two other players. This can get pretty difficult at times, and we see High Sky really focusing on that high ground while also controlling his aggressive playstyle. With a quick scope in, High Sky easily takes down an opponent and is now facing a 1v1. This makes it so much easier for him to eliminate the last opponent, as there will be no other opponents for him to worry about. Knowing how good of a mechanical player High Sky is, you can pretty much tell that this game is over. It's pretty hard for someone as good as High Sky to lose a game where he has full health and shields, materials, great weapons, and the high ground. High Sky is now playing more aggressive, but isn't necessarily giving up the high ground because this last kill is the most important. Keep in mind that High Sky is a very fun player and he likes to mess around a lot, so he ends up going for a trick shot for the game-winning kill. Although we don't recommend this, and you'll see why in a second, it is an aspect of his aggressive playstyle. The reason why it's not the best thing to do is because it can easily cause you to lose high ground, as High Sky has lost it here. Nevertheless, his fast building and great mechanics end up rewarding him with an easy win. Now he wraps up the fight with a swift trap kill. To summarize some of the main takeaways from High Sky's gameplay, we're going to tell you the main points that really set him apart from others. He's a very aggressive player that takes risks to not only entertain his audience, but to hit crazy shots that most will not. High Sky is also very mechanical and will rely on his aim and building to take opponents down rather than his wits. But don't let that fool you. He's a genius when it comes to tricking opponents, using their own edits and builds against them. As we reach the end of this video, we want to ask you, what's your favorite thing about High Sky? Do you guys agree that he's one of the most fun players to watch? 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you learned a little bit about what makes High Sky such a great player. Uh, again, my name is Dan. You can follow me at, at Daniel Ammerman, and we wish you guys a great rest of your day. Good luck with the grind.